and welcome back to The Curious Shelf. You are joining me on a bright, beautiful day in Brussels. We are two weeks before the summer solstice here and um, fingers crossed we're heading into a wonderful summer. I say that although the weather for next week looks like rain and more rain. But it's Brussels, so hey voila. So anyway, thank you for joining me. Welcome back to those who already know me and welcome to new subscribers. This is The Curious Shelf in Brussels. So I have been wanting to do this video for some time. And then I thought, can I put something like this up? Because people are gonna think that like I'm crazy, but you know what? I just wanna go with the flow. And um, today especially, I wanted to do a bit more of a relaxed, chilled, kind of like fun video. I don't know how else to put it. Okay, so anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna get straight to it. Yes, you can guess from the title, these are my pretty decks. These are decks that I bought because they are pretty, as the title says. Not always beautiful, not always, I don't know, they don't always fit into some kind of a stereotype, but they're the kind of decks which I saw and have thought, oh, that's so pretty, I need to have it, kind of thing. And um, and so it's not always for the guidebook or anything else either. I mean, sometimes I buy them for the guidebook, but sometimes I've bought them, and as I'm going through them, I'm going, this is just so beautiful and so pretty. So. I just thought I'd do a video like this. So if you like the tag, come join me. If you wanna make a comment, just please do so at the bottom. Um, and it's just another fun video. I'm gonna get right to it. We're already a minute and a half in. Okay, so the first deck, I'm gonna just get the first one out of the way because you, you you know this deck, like I, I use this deck nearly every month. I use this and it's twin. So let's get the twin out. I was gonna avoid it, but let's just get the twin out. These two decks. Yes, let's just put them together because they're basically the same. Um, I just recently showed you the Goddess Dream Oracle in another video. So let's show you the Goddess Love Oracle. They're both very similar. You can just, you can even just put them all together and make one giant deck. The artwork is by Wendy Andrew. These come with a little guidebook as well, I forget. Yeah, they do come with a little guidebook. And they're just so soft and gentle and they're pretty. I love the colors. Look, look at the backs. I love the colors in these decks. They're just, they're gorgeous, they're vibrant. Um, they make me pack up. And I think it's something about the colors in this and the lines and the flow. And um, yeah, I just, you know, I feel, I feel like they make me sing basically. They make my heart sing. I don't know how else to say it. So. Um, and I love the animals in these decks as well and how they look so gentle and at peace. It's, there's, there's this feeling of well-being when I look at these decks, or this deck especially, there's a feeling of well-being when I look at Wendy Andrews' work. So anyway, um, like everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm loved, I'm taken care of. Um, so anyway, so I'm not gonna show you both decks, but I just thought I'd bring them up because Initially, I was thinking, don't show that because, you know, like they've seen these decks a hundred million times, but they belong in my pretty category. So there you go. So the next one, I'm going to do mass market. And then there's a few Indian here as well. But first of all, the next one, mass market is a deck that I've also, I think I've just shown it recently. It's the Kuan Yin by Lana Fairchild and artwork by, I don't know. Um, sorry, um, I'm gonna, I, I know that the art artist, this is the inside, the pretty, pink pretty. Um, the artist is, I know, um, of the actual culture, which I think is amazing because um, I think that what I, what I, the, what I understand from people from um, the South, Southeast Asian culture is that these have been done very well, this deck. So um, I'm just seeing if I can find artwork by Zheng Hao. So I can find the name of the artist. Okay, so let me just show you a few of these cards. Now the prettiness comes from not just the cards, but the border. I mean, look at that border, breathtaking. The artwork is gorgeous. Um, the fine attention to detail, the the softness, the haziness, the interlude of different um, characters in each card. I mean, look at the florals there that they've captured on that fabric. Um, it's just stunning, really, really stunning. There's something about this deck that just, it's like you can feel that flow of energy um, of the goddess. Um, and I absolutely, I think it's just done so well. 
and um, oh, I should have mentioned it before. So there is some nudity in this deck, um, but I just think it's just done so. Oh, look at that! Look how beautiful that is. So um, I love this deck in terms of its prettiness, and um, again, it just makes me like get very wrapped up in in the energy and the flow that's depicted. I mean, this is of the lotus, right? So uh, turquoise lotus mother. And look how beautiful she looks. So um, again, another pretty deck. Okay, and look at the backs as well. I mean, the backs on this deck are just stunning. Okay, so moving on from there, another pretty deck is, and this is actually, I'm gonna stick to the Kuan Yin theme. It's pretty, but in a different way. And that is this one, the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle. Now, I've hardly used this deck, so I've got to say that like I, I don't know it too well, but I do know that it was pre-existing artwork that was then placed onto the cards. So let me see if I can find the name of the artist. Artwork by Wang Ingwang. I am no, I've butchered that name, I apologize. Um, but at least I found the name of the artist. This is the inside of the box. Look at that deep blue. These are the backs. And these are the cards. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, yeah, we do have some, some landscape, but I still think it works, this deck. I think it's a beautiful deck. Oh, look at these. I do know this also comes in a pocket format. But yes, um, I do know many people have said that it reminds them of the region. They visited the region. I've never been to the region. It's it's a part of, um, and it's not in India. We're not in India anymore. We're in uh, Nepal. So yeah. So yeah. Look at this. I think it's Ladao, the region. That's why. But I'm not 100% um, sure. But it's just beautiful, beautiful artwork. And it just falls into that sometimes pretty, not all the time, but sometimes it is pretty. I just think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. I love this, the way they've captured the red on this deck. Um, this fieriness. So yeah, so um, it's not for everyone, I think, because of the... the um, <clears throat> The, the landscape positioning of the cards, but I think it's beautiful. And as mentioned here, these are the backs again. Okay, so that's the Wild Kuan Yin, also by Lana Fairchild. Okay, going on from there, and this is where I have to play also the balancing the act of all these different decks. Okay, so going on from there, let me show you a deck that I bought last year. Now, I have used this a little bit. I use this one more in the winter, and that's because it, I feel it has a little bit more of that winter energy. And oh, I should mention it, it is the Hero's Journey Dream Oracle by Kelly Silva Walden, artwork by Rasuli. I wanted to get one Rasuli deck in here. And, um, and I thought I'd show you this one because I have recently also shown you the Sufi Wisdom, so I thought I'd show this one instead. I do really, really like this, this deck. It has some quotes from Joseph Campbell in there as well. Um, the one thing about this deck that I'm not in love with is the keywords, but I think past that, the artwork is stunning now. These are the backs, and I do have the glossy version of this deck, so you're going to have to bear with me. It is, um, it's not that matte finish, so sometimes you can see the reflection there of camera, um, but I still think it's a gorgeous deck. I actually don't mind it in gloss, it's just that on camera, of course, I know it's difficult, but I actually love this deck because the glossiness brings out this color beautifully. And um, and yeah, and so this is a pretty deck for me. Pretty because of all these beautiful, gorgeous colors that we're seeing coming through here. Absolutely stunning. I love just, oh, look at that. I love how Rasuli captures patterns through that paint, but they you can't really see the pattern so much, but you can, the motive of sometimes the material, but you know it's there. It's kind of like we can see what the motive could have been, but you know, he's captured in a certain way. And I think that's gorgeous. Um, it, just so much done with a few shapes. Um, and this interlude of just, oh, look at that. You see so many people there. Never a crowd on, never a crowd on the leading edge. Honor those who honor you. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, this is another pretty deck for me. And, um, and again, look at these gorgeous backs there. And this also comes with a guidebook. The guidebook is amazing. This is the inside of the box. Look at that yellow. Okay, so moving on from there, and that was that was the Hero's Dream uh, Journey Dream Oracle. Okay, so moving on from there, let me show you a, let's just look at the deck that I got recently, because then we can have a look at that as well. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing, yeah, first of all, my Blue Angel decks. Okay, so this is the Alice in Wonderland Tarot, um, Oracle. I bought it recently, you've already probably seen my first impressions of it. Um, this is the inside. I just had to include this as a Lucy Cavendish deck because, and of course, artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith, because um, I I fell in love with the artwork. As you recall from like my reveal kind of thing, you know, these are the facts. I mean, partially I bought the back because of the backs. I mean, look at the backs. But I just, again, you know, I fell in love with the artwork. I just thought, this is such a pretty deck. And it is, I mean, a little bit scary at times, but it is pretty, very, very pretty. I love the colors. I love the animals. I love, like, her expressions. I love, I like the bigger eyes in this one, <laughs> the big bug eyes. I just think it's a gorgeous deck in terms of its artwork and, um, I mean, there I feel a little bit of um, Van Gogh coming in and, um, you know, Starry Night kind of thing. And I just think that, you know, she's just done it so well, this artwork. And um, look at that. Look how pretty she looks. So, yeah, so I really like this deck because, again, it's pretty. But um, it also just kind of like makes me feel like, you know, it's fun and playful and um, gorgeous artwork, gorgeous colors coming through. And I love also the shadows on people's face, on the on the person's face. I mean, it just, yeah, she captures it so well. So that's another pretty deck. And that is, again, look at those backs again. I just keep having to show the backs of this deck. And that is, of course, um, the Alice Wonderland um, Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine Beckett Griffith as the artist. So going on from there, I have a deck which... I bought, I think earlier this year, but I just haven't shown it, I think. I bought the White Light um, uh, Oracle. This is again, so another Alana Fairchild deck. And this is a deck that I bought. Okay, so what happened was I bought this last year and then there was a mess with the delivery. It never arrived. I did get reimbursed and then I never reordered it. So this winter I ordered it because I wanted something that was white um, like a white soft energy. I didn't want full color and I was blown away by the artwork in this deck And I think it's quite it's beautiful and sometimes very pretty. It's got a delicateness to it So there you go. So this is the artwork Stunning stunning artwork delicate soft pretty at times beautiful at times Yeah, very quiet and soothing, but it's all about sound energy as well in this one. I do know Lana Fairchild has done a YouTube video that goes with this, where you can actually listen to um, like some of the sound energies that are on the bottom, but I haven't done that. But I just bought it because I was really... This deck really reminds me, have anybody seen The Devil's Advocate, which has Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves? It's a 1990... 1995 I want to say 96 film I think I love it it's got Ashley Judd as well in it so this deck reminds me of the devil's advocate and um and that was one of the reasons why I bought it actually but I do find it's very pretty at times I think that's gorgeous um so I would definitely recommend this deck if you want something with sepia tones and a soft but striking it has a striking element and i think it's pretty as well i think it's just i think it's a lot of things in one the one thing it isn't it's not colorful so that you have to bear in mind but these are the backs but if you have a sepia tone deck and you're looking for perhaps an oracle to go with it this might be an option a deck which is more like golds and whites or black and white or and you don't want to mix it with a very strong color palette then then this might be an option i think it's stunning Absolutely stunning. Okay, so that was another Alana Fairchild deck. Let me just check the name of the illustrator. Bear with me, just one moment while I kind of like 
just find a way to juggle the, all these decks. Um, let me see if I can find artwork by Andrew Gonzalez. So that's the artwork, Andrew Gonzalez. Okay, so let's put that over there. That should be okay. Okay, so this is a deck that I picked up. Let me show you this one now. This is a deck that I picked up in 2020. It's actually one of the first oracles that I picked up when I came back to Tower and Oracle. And that is the Beyond Lumeria deck. Now, these are oracle cards by Izzy, Izzy Ivy. I know this deck is very popular with some people. The reason why I bought this deck, there is just, I just need to put it out there. It reminds me of Avatar, and I really like that movie, actually. And I know there's Avatar Part 2 coming out later this year, like the sequel or whatever. So, yeah, that's definitely a movie I want to watch. Um, okay, so let me first find out who the artist is, actually, before we go on. The artist is... Okay, the artist is... Oh, text and images by Izzy Ivy. So she did the artwork as well. I love, love, love this deck. I just think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. These are the backs. Purples, pinks, get ready for it in this dark black setting. I mean, yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's my kind, it's like for, alien foresty kind of like energy. I love it. Um, it's a stunning deck. I think there's this um, tarot deck called Blood Moon or something like that. Um, uh, I do know it's it's sold out everywhere. I think this deck, this Oracle deck might go with it. I do know this is also available in Pocket. I have hardly used this deck and I regret that actually. So I need to make more use of it because I think it's stunning, beautiful artwork. Um, it's got this kind of like cosmic fae energy. That's the only way I can put it, cosmic alien energy. And yeah, I just think it's a gorgeous deck. And um, I don't see it too much these days, but I do know that there's kind of like, I feel like it's one of those cult oracle decks where like this got its own cult following. And I'm really glad I've got it. I just need to give it a bit more love and attention. I think that's what it is. But um, I did think at one point of, 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 um, uh, of, of letting it go because of the fact that I just thought that perhaps of um, you know I wasn't using it enough but I find that when I sometimes sit with a deck I realize it's actually that I haven't paid attention to it rather than there's something wrong with the deck so um, it's more about me investing my time in it but I do think it's I mean look at that that's gorgeous okay I, I have to use this deck basically like spirit is telling me use the deck that's why you have it so okay I hear spirit loud and clear and um Again, one more time. Let's look at the backs. It's so beautiful. Um, let me see if I can find the inside of this box. Let me see. Where is the inside? The inside is actually quite muted on this one. Just like a grey black. Um, but yeah, so that is the Beyond Beyond Lumeria Oracle. And um, another Blue Angel deck. Okay, so then moving on from there. I'm just trying to balance all of this. Moving on from there. This is a newer deck. This is a deck that I picked up after seeing it on, um, I saw it on several channels and then I went back and I had a look at it. It's it's um, the Mayfair Queen Heger. Um, she's done a comparison of this deck with the Mother Mary Oracle, which is also a very pretty deck. Um, and that is Soulful Woman, um, Guidance uh, Cards. And this is by Shushan uh, Mob Session and Gemma Summers. I do know that the artwork is mixed by various artists, so I, I can't go through them all, but so this is the inside. And I have to say, this has got to be one of my favorite goddess decks ever, or goddess or female, the female archetype empowerment energy decks ever. I don't know how else to put it. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. The colors are like a right. Now I have the matte version, but if you've got the glossy version, I think you'd love it too. These are the backs, before I forget. Okay, so here it is. We do have various artists, so, you know, it, it could be jarring for some people. I don't mind. I think the colors and the artwork is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. The color, it's, the, it's like a riot of vibrant colors that I just want to fall in love with I mean that's what happens to me in the spring and the summer especially like especially when we go from mid-May onwards 
early May onwards, all the way till about the end of July, my hair just like literally sucks in color, like my eyes just look for color and it just draws them in. And um, perhaps it's because like, I don't know, I'm born in, I'm born in like late October. I'm like a real autumn energy in that sense. And it's almost like I always joke, like my Hades comes out and it just wants to take in all those beautiful colors before it goes back into the earth. <laughs> you know, my plutonium energy. So, um, yeah, I think this is a gorgeous deck again. I just, another pretty deck. Um, you get here like keywords and then you get a sentence. So here it says divine patience. My soul brings forth the right conditions and opportunities for me. The best answers and solutions are delivered at the best time. And the guidebook to this is pretty succinct. So you're not looking at a heavy amount. I mean, but this whole video is about pretty decks, so I'm not going to go into the guidebook because this really is about, look at the gorgeousness of that. It says, quite nourishes me. Oh, I just, just oh, I think this is a beautiful deck. So, and I love the various artists. I think it's worth having, I don't know, I, I'm fine with it. I use these as altar cards, so it doesn't really jar me. And then if they're in a, a tableau, again, it doesn't judge me. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Um, so yes, so I definitely re recommend this deck. I think some of the artwork is Tony Carmine Salerno, but don't get me, don't quote me on it. I might be completely wrong. Um, should I look at one more image? It's one of my favorite um, Oracle decks, I have to say that. And thank you, Hega, um, for, sorry, I'm probably butchering uh, her name. Thank you for recommending this um, deck because it's just beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very happy I've got it. You know, sometimes when we get decks, you know, we might be unsure, but there are some decks that, you know, when you get them and they just click, and this was one of them where I got it, and it was just like, oh, this is a keeper. Okay, this is one of my most newest additions. I'm just watching the time here. This is one of my most newest, newest additions. Oh, let me look at that. Oh, yeah, I'm running late now. Never mind. Um, to my um, collection, and I think it's going to be the last Blue Angel I show you, otherwise we're going to be here all day. But I bought it because it's pretty. And it was after I bought this deck, I realized, okay, I really need to do this video and there'll be a tag that goes with it. And um, it's it's because it's pretty. And I have to say that after I bought this deck and after I've been like thinking about doing this video, I realized that this is going to be my pretty de decks and 2022 because I've got a feeling there's going to be a 2023 video, you know, like, because I think more decks like this are going to appear. It's the Gratitude Oracle. It's by Angelina Hartfield and artwork by Josephine Wall. I've always wanted a Josephine Wall deck, so I decided to start off with this one. Now, I know she's got the Whispers of Healing and then Na Whispers of Nature. She's got several decks that are all looking gorgeous. I do know that I think it's the Whispers of Healing, which has this back with this like, like, just this riot of pinks and oranges and yellows and of colors on the back. I mean, the back of those cards are gorgeous, but that deck is, I'm not sure if it's now in, available in matte and it had borders and I, I, I wasn't sure of how it looks after the recent Blue Angel updates. And then this one, I just had a feeling, I think, it, anyway, so I went for this one first and I don't regret it. It's gorgeous. Look at this deck. These, by the way, these are the backs. And I thought this would be a very angel deck, but it's kind of like angel fey forest. I mean, like, it's just, it's the kind of thing, look, look how beautiful that is. The only thing that I feel a little bit like hemmed in about in this deck is that I wish there was diversity. I think, I think it could have done well with some diversity for sure. You know, so I, I do need to point that out and raise it. Um, I do think that the artwork is stunning, gorgeous. I mean, look, look at the, like the detail there, when I get that close up, is just amazing. Look at that. It's like fairy wonderland. This is the kind of deck which I want to use in the summer, but I think it might also transcend very, very well into Christmassy kind of thing. It's got that kind of like, I don't know, uh, it's got a kind of like magical feel to it, so it might be all year round. There are a few cards I'm not in love with, I have to say that, but 
I love about 80% of the artwork in this, 90% of it. I think it's gorgeous. Look at that. That's stunning. Yeah, it's Josephine Wall. It's her artwork. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a... I, I, I do feel like this deck for me is very, very European, even though it might not be. It might be just global. But, you know, that's the artist intent, I mean, sorry. But it kind of like sometimes reminds me of like, I don't know, like when I've been in... in um. Eastern France or Western Germany, and I go to so I've gone to some of the the, the um, villages and the towns there, and the architecture and the forests and these small little you know um, villes like cities basically they're small cities they're just so gorgeous like it's like being in fairy wonderland all the time, and that's what this reminds me of a little bit so um, it's actually reminding me right now as I speak about it of my early twenties. Um, and working in kind of like, you know, um, Eastern France, Western Germany area, um, going down there every, every month or so. So yeah, stunning. Um, and I know Josephine Wool also left, uh, lent a lot of her artwork to Moleskin or no, sorry, to paper blanks, not Moleskin, sorry, paper blanks. So there's a lot of, um, notebooks now available with this kind of artwork so anyway i love it and um look at that gorgeous or was it peter pauper press it could have been a peter pauper press um notebook i think that's what it was sorry not paper blanks i you'll you'll find it you know they're easily available on um platforms those notebooks um, with gorgeous, of course, always with gorgeous note paper. That's why I like them so much. They're like 300 GSM note paper or something. I don't know, something like, no, 120, sorry, 120 GSM note paper. So beautiful notebooks. Um, anyway, so going on from there, and um, let me just quickly show you the inside of that. <laughs> That's the inside. Lovely yellow, lem like a lemony yellow. That's what it is. Not lemony, sorry. I don't know, actually. It's more like a card. Yeah. Okay. Going on from there, let me show you a, a, let me show you a Hay House deck because I think this is beautiful. And when I was looking at my shelf, I was like, yeah, this deck, this deck, tick, tick the beautiful box. That's Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. It's my favorite Denise Lynn Oracle deck. Um, it's again one of the first Oracle decks that I bought when I came back to Taran Oracle. I think it's pretty, it's just so pretty. It's breathtakingly beautiful in so many ways. Um, that's the inside. I like Denise Lynn a lot. I like her work. I like her, when I've ever like watched her on, on videos and stuff, I like her energy. Um, I just think it's a beautiful deck. And they look like Polaroids to me. Um, so pretty. So gorgeous. These are the backs. And um, and yes, look at that. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful artwork. I think this has got to be one of the best mass market oracle decks there is out there. A combination of beautiful, pretty, gorgeous artwork, great writing, very well balanced calming it goes with so many tarot decks it goes on its own as well so much um yes i i hope i see more of this kind of artwork with denise lynn's writing i'm i'm not i'm not so keen on the more recent oracle deck i'm just gonna say that um oh i i remember when i was going through that really difficult time at the end of 2020 early 2021 that winter and this was sitting on my desk and um, yeah, that's what I needed. So very fond memories with this deck and um, yes, and I think it's very, very fair price as well, this deck. Okay, so that was the Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. I had to throw in another Rockpool deck. So we're back with Rockpool. It's a recent purchase. Now, I bought this deck last year, and then I decided not to keep it, and then I regretted it, so I've repurchased it, basically. It's Sacred Power Reading Cards um, by Anna Stark, 
and I threw this deck in last minute because I actually think it's got some very pretty artwork. Now one of its prettiest cards is sitting up on my altar space so I can't show you that, well that was clever, but I'll try and show you some of the others because there's some very, very beautiful, pretty cards in here. Straight off the bat, I love the colour, the colour palette in this. That went flying off. <laughs> there you go. The colour palette in this deck is just gorgeous. I feel like I'm in some kind of like cosmic wonderland with this deck. Um, and I think it's pretty in many, many ways. Um, I think the artwork is gorgeous. I should have mentioned, sorry, I'm sorry, I was going so fast I forgot to mention. Who is the artwork by for the Sacred Destiny Oracle? Let me just look at, that, check that, sorry about that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I can't find it quick enough. I might be a bit, yeah, I'm going to be... Sorry, I'm going to take up too much time here. Oh, no, this is interior design. Um, but I don't know who the artist is. Sorry about that. And um, the artwork for the Anna Start deck, images by Louise Dyer. Ah, oh, okay. So at least I found, and then I just dropped them all. So here's a few more images. And let me just get the rest for you. make sure I don't tread on them so try and get them okay so it's a little bit slippery it is a rock pool deck but gorgeous gorgeous images here okay look at that that's beautiful oh this is yeah yeah okay look at that phoenix and then this is another one so beautiful pretty images that really tell a tale and story and that's gorgeous yeah okay going on from there and I think I'm gonna have to stop after that otherwise we're just I'm just gonna be out of time I'm sorry let me show you one of my um one of my indie oracles which I haven't really worked with that much which is why I was a little bit like mm, do I want to show this but I'm going to show this because I think it is gorgeous as the Wisdom of the Sacred Bee Oracle by Kelly Burton. Now, believe it or not, there is another deck coming out later this year, another tarot deck, I believe. I think the Kickstarter has already been launched. I think it has already been launched. I'm gonna be doing a pre-order or I'm gonna wait for it to arrive at um, the local indie store because I know a couple of indie stores here, they love it, so they love all of her work, so they do stock her work. So yeah, I think we're gonna be jumping on that as soon as I can. Um, I just think that the right, of, this is an oracle deck, an indie oracle deck that just, it makes me think it's so worth getting. It's so gorgeous. It's beautiful matte cardstock. It's got this beautiful, like look at that gilding. And again, a riot of color. A, a beautiful riot of color. When I look at all my decks like this to be, to be, to also just be really transparent, I really like the way that I feel like I can harmonize and, and play with all of these decks in together. Uh, and I like that. I like that feeling of just the aesthetics and the flow of the colors. I love the, the beautiful, um, the beautiful uh, um, collage here done. And I won't show you all of it, but um, yes. If you're someone that wants to buy your first, perhaps, indie oracle deck and you love colour, and I mean, I, I just cannot recommend this enough. These are the backs. Um, so well done. The guidebook is great too. Um, beautiful finishing quality to uh, the production of this deck. Um, so well worth investing in, I think. Um, and I think it will go with a lot of earthy or... Um, foresty decks or cultural decks just gorgeous okay so with that I'm going to stop there I hope you've enjoyed this um like little tour of my pretty decks beautiful decks these are oracles I just remembered I need to put that in these are all oracles because 
I will at some point do a separate tarot. Um, and that's because I think I have just so many. I was like, when I tried first thinking about this, I like my head just exploded. And then I realized, okay, we I need to cut it down a bit. So there will be a separate um, whole tarot thing um, at some point um, that I will do. I hope you enjoyed this. It was just a bit of fun that I wanted to do. And um, maybe you want to pick up a deck from either one of these decks or from one of these um, producers because, you know, like the Anna Stark deck that I just showed you, her other decks as well, they have beautiful imagery. So, you know, it just, you know, or the, or the Josephine Wall deck that I just showed as well. So this is really more of a homage to some of the artists that we have here um, and, uh, and how they just, um, you know, this time of year, I'm, I'm taking in this kind of like pretty energy Perhaps also in the winter, I might do kind of like oracle decks that um, kind of like work with that kind of like darker, moodier, autumnal, wintry energy that aesthetically kind of like, um, yeah, make me kind of like, you know, just smile. So maybe this is my summer edition, basically, as well, my spring summer edition. That's the best way I can put it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Wishing you all a lovely weekend wherever you are. And I will see you soon on the Creator Shelf. Take care now. Bye.